Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair, Asus Vivobook. We have Ryzen 5 and Radeon graphics. Now, the problem with this one, let's read the customer email. So the customer is saying Asus M413U does not charge anymore. It works fine until one day stop charging. The last time it worked, I noticed it's still showing the charging sign, but it really did not charge. It ran out of the battery and died. The charger connector for this one may also need attention, as it sometimes fails to connect properly. Okay, so the customer is saying it worked, it didn't charge. Yeah, that's how the laptop died. And uh, we are uh, thinking, can be like a charging port issue or... Yeah, charging circuit problem. Yeah, that's what we are expecting. Let me try to find a connector. Yeah, that, that's the one. So we have 19 volts on the power supply. Plug in the charger and it's doing nothing. It's dead. Pressing the power button, nothing. It's taking no current, nothing. I will say, let's open the laptop and try to have a look inside. Nice motherboard to repair. Can you spot any problem? We have the charge port here. Let's check the voltage on the charging port. So the voltage on the charging port is 19.5. Yeah, so the charging port is good. The main power rail, we have coils, yeah? MOSFETs, capacitor. Main power rail is 3 volts. That's not good. We cannot have like 3 volts on the main power rail. Do we have a power supply which is creating the main power rail? Most likely this one. We have four MOSFETs. Actually, we have three MOSFETs. Battery voltage, zero volts. Let's see what we have here. Here we have RAM memory. Okay. So what could be the problem? Check here, yeah? Here. Yeah, no one work on this board. Here we have two MOSFETs, you can see. So we have our first MOSFET, and on the input we have... ...19.5. After the first MOSFET we have 3 volts, yeah? So we are losing... Uh, the current there. Now, why this is happening? Because the gate voltage is missing, and on the gate we have 3 volts, and obviously on the output we have 3 volts. So, there is a problem with the power management chip, most likely a BQ chip, because we don't have voltage on the gate. So, let's try to have a look for the power management chip, or even better, let's check the second MOSFET. If the second MOSFET is shorted, can trigger this kind of fault. LOL, two ohms. Huh? Two ohms on the second MOSFET. The first MOSFET probably is good. Yeah, it is good. Gate with source is not short, but drain with source, it is short. So, uh, I will unplug the battery. Uh, the BQ chip has, a, I'm pretty sure here is a BQ chip, not sure where it is, probably it's here. Yeah, probably it's there. Yeah, but let's see, let's see. Yeah, BQ247A0. Has an internal circuit, which uh, it will detect if a MOSFET is shorted. And on that moment, it will cut the power down, like in this case, yeah? He cut the voltage down from the first MOSFET. I will say let's replace that MOSFET. Let's try to find another one. Check this board. Check this board. The MOSFET, you see, these little things are actually MOSFETs. I mean, everything is getting smaller and smaller.
I found an old HP board. Let's grab a MOSFET. So we have our MOSFET here. Which is a channel uh, and MOSFET. The MOSFET is out, and the new MOSFET does the new one. Perfect, so the MOSFET it is sold on place. Now all what is left is to cool the board. Perfect. Let's plug the screen back. Battery. And the charger. So plug in the charger. Check there. Huh? The laptop start charging. No, the laptop actually is coming on. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear the power supply is getting into the limit. We have picture. So the laptop is working fine. Let me switch off the laptop. Okay, so the laptop is off and it's charging fine with 2.2 amps. Now, let's see why the customer said there's something wrong with the charging port. Nah, there's nothing wrong with the charging port. Nah, probably that MOSFET, you know, first got partial shorted and then uh, get fully shorted. But everything is fine. Yeah, we have the charging light there, it's charging fine. Let me check if the port is soldered properly. Yeah, the port is soldered properly. So most likely the customer has an issue with his charger. What we can do, we can, uh, you know, try to tight the metal things from, yeah, from here. Yeah, that's all what we can do. Yeah, but it's solid, and it is solder on place. Good? Yeah, everything is fine. 2.2 amps. Yeah, just have in mind, when you see your uh, main power rail, like having like 3 volts, uh, the second MOSFET, yeah? The second MOSFET, that's the, that's the catch. Anyway, check the, the both first, uh, first two MOSFETs. So I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.